Scout rifles. Well, I'm sure maybe only one of you use one on a regular basis, which means this review may not resonate with you. But if you're looking for a scout rifle that is extremely deadly, that does have some very good stats, and a unique trait that has never been found on a primary weapon before, you're gonna wanna check out Imperative. This is the scout rifle from Vex Offensive, and it most definitely has some potential. So first up, intrinsically, this is a high impact frame scout rifle, meaning it shoots at 150 rounds rounds per minute here. It does state that the weapon is more accurate when stationary and aiming down sights. I don't believe we really have a way of measuring that. It's really going to boil down to feel and I'm not quite sure if the weapon has ever felt better when I was stationary. Again, that intrinsic perk is always kind of throwing me for a loop, at least in regards to that last line of text. Moving on though, we also have arrowhead break for our barrel perk. Not necessarily the perk of choice as the rate of fire on the scout rifle is not like it's just jumping out of your hands. So we don't necessarily need a bunch of recoil direction thrown on this weapon to make it more vertical. I mainly just chose it because chamber compensator underneath it really hurt our handling. And if there's one thing you could say about all 150 round per minute scouts is handling for the most part can feel very, very poor on them. So if there's any way to combat that slow handling speed, I would definitely take that option in your barrel perks. This weapon also comes with accurized rounds for that bump there in range. Underneath it though, it also comes with extended mag. Not necessarily the perk to go with in something like PvP, but not a bad one for PvE, as it throws that magazine size up from 13 to 16. Now the trade here, that does make this weapon pretty unique, and the whole reason why we stopped everything what we did today to review this weapon is no distractions. Aiming this weapon for a short period reduces flinch. Now, this is a trait found. I believe only on Beloved. I think Beloved, the sniper rifle from the Menagerie, is the only thing that can roll with something like no distractions, which is a great trait for something like a sniper. You're aiming down sights, you're normally very prone to receive flinch when taking fire. Something like no distractions is a great trait to combat whatever flinch you may be receiving, thus resulting in you still landing the crit. Being placed here on a scout rifle is extremely unusual. So no distractions guys, when you aim down sights, it takes approximately like a second and a half for that perk to activate. Now you can see that at the bottom left end of your screen, no distractions actually pops up. So you can visibly tell based on the buff there that that perk is at work. Now, before we move into the effectiveness of that trait, the final trait in this column, which can't be overlooked, is explosive payload. I don't know how many of you have ever used a 150 round per minute scout rifle with explosive payload, but if you're looking for the ultimate flinch machine, this is it, okay? Any long range engagement you get into, the enemy in front of you is experiencing a roar of fire in their face with explosive payload going off all around them and simultaneously getting hit for a whopping 68 damage per crit, which kind of sneaks up on them. And it also freaks a lot of people out. Like normally in a lot of my gunfights today, people take like one shot of explosive payload from a 150 round per minute scout and they just take off running. Now the effectiveness of something like no distractions, is this a trait worth using considering you have to wait a second and a half for something like this to activate? I wasn't necessarily stopping and relying on no distractions to proc before going into a gunfight. I more or less treated it as if it procs before this gunfight starts, great. If it doesn't, then by God, I hope this scout rifle can handle this flinch from whatever weapon is popping me in the face right now. And normally for the most part, no distractions handled flinch extremely well, like with or without no distractions. But this is a side-by-side -side comparison of what this scout rifle experiences when it receives oncoming fire without something like no distractions active. And now this is the clip of how the scout rifle handles flinch when receiving oncoming fire with no distractions. A nine day difference and something that can probably keep you alive in a gunfight if you are prepared to not combat the flinch. And what I mean by that is you need to be very conscious of this perk when it activates. Normally when you receive gunfire from an opponent, you're already moving your joystick or your mouse in a way that is going to combat whatever enormous amount of flinch you are about to receive, especially on a weapon that has the zoom and magnification that the scout rifle has, similar to something like a sniper. And so if you know you're about to receive fire, you're immediately going to be jerking in certain directions to maintain accuracy. What you're going to have to relearn with something like no distractions, considering that it almost makes that flinch non-existent is to just keep aiming okay and i know that sounds crazy but i had to like be like yo okay i got no distractions active calm the hell down cross just aim the gun you ain't gotta jerk it left or right this time now of course this changes whether or not you have the perk active which means you got to be very aware when that buff goes live at the bottom left end of your screen pretty much as soon as it goes live that 150 round per minute scout rifle is ready to rock and roll you got the ultimate laning larry weapon there's been lots of pulse rifles in our hands and other scout rifles jade rabbit Polaris Lance, 
that I would say are great laning weapons. You can post up, pitch a tent, and start a campfire. This scout rifle, though, takes it to a whole nother level with no distractions. You don't have to move. You don't have to stop aiming down sights. And if you got something like knucklehead radar to know what's happening around you, which is what we're using today on the Hunter class, voila, you got radar while you were aiming down sights. It's the best weapon for laning. And really what it boils down to is whether or not your play style is one that will agree with what imperative here it's trying to bring to the table. Being a 150 round per minute scout rifle, especially in this sandbox, is actually extremely deadly. With the nerf ranges handed out to hand cannons, as well as some of our select archetypes of pulse rifles also receiving some range nerfs. So scout rifles in general are looking a tad bit more valuable. I mean, it could have get much worse than what it was before, but these 150s in general are looking a lot better. But for the longest time, the only 150s that really stood out was either Jade Rabbit with the Exotic Catalyst or Polaris Lance. And I'm proud to say Imperative is the first legendary scout rifle that can truly hang with the exotics. It's got a 0.8 second time to kill inside of Crucible. It can three crit from a hell of a distance. It's got some good base stats, the ability to roll explosive payload with no distractions. The weapon has definitely got potential. Now, let's look at the random rolls of this thing. What are the rolls you should be looking for? Because there's some pretty good ones here. First up, I really like the no distractions explosive payload thing. You're able to operate on both sides of the spectrum. The ability to combat flinch at all times and the ability to deal flinch. It's an amazing combo. But some other things. You also got subsistence and rampage. Can't overlook subsistence in this sandbox, especially with ammo finders in general getting a bump there. Finding ammo shouldn't be a problem. And with subsistence having double the reserves, combine that with something like rampage for PVE activities, especially, this will give you the ability to kind of just sit back and pick targets off. Now, that's not to say that's not a good role for PVP. Just understand when it comes to like two tap potential, transfiguration, which is one of the only scout rifles in the game that can roll with both kill clip and rampage on the same weapon can barely two tap with both of those procs so if you're looking for a combination of lethality here maybe multi kill clip can get you up there at times three but the likelihood of that actually happening in something like pvp is very slim now another trade combination that i was actually considering was no distractions with snapshot snapshot for the immediate aim down sights which gets us closer to that 1.5 speed now i considered it but i really don't think it's a good one considering that aiming down sights is not something that actually takes a long time you're still going to be sitting there and waiting for a second and a half and this isn't a sniper like obviously that would be perfect for a sniper right to me guys the role that you saw me using it doesn't get much better than that well fellas that is our review here for imperative try it out for yourself huge shout out to murky for letting us get on your account i actually sent out a message in discord looking for this exact role and no one but this man had it which is amazing thank you so much murky fellas and ladies thank you all for coming and watching and as always slap that like button like your mama told you right Thank you.